Hello Cancer, this is Monica with the Lynx Tarot. Welcome or welcome back. We are covering Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node approximately the next two weeks. We're starting with the power of surrender. All right, surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy that is there. Very nice. So pay attention to your surroundings. Listen to the birds. Um, notice all of the beauty around you. This is what is being suggested to you right now. Take a relaxing break. Spend time in nature. Notice all the beauty. And you'll find inner peace when you do this too. This can be like a meditation. Surrender to passion. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. So what are you passionate about? What do you love to do? Who do you love to be around? Um, it might be time to spend time with those you care about. All right, so let's go over to the Tower of the Moon Garden. What else do we have for Cancer? Oh, look at that, you got the Queen of Pentacles, yeah. So maybe you're house hunting and you're finding that property that is just for you. I'm picturing um, a stream or a pond or a lake, nature all around you, or maybe your house is not far from that. Or even if you have an apartment wherever you live, um, I'm picturing someone near nature and it makes you feel full. It makes you feel rich. The Queen of Pentacles can also have to do with financial security, having enough to share with others without um, without it being at your own expense being comfortable being comfortable financially all right i like that being comfortable financially and it's uh, for some of you this is a new thing finding this financial security it's a new thing and it's also a new thing to actually know that you deserve it and sit with it and be with it and be like okay you know this is a nice relief i can enjoy this now and not worry about so many of the things that I used to worry about. This is probably relief for some loved ones too, or relief to you that you can help certain loved ones, maybe with college or with grandchildren or something like that. Oh, look at this in the Empress, beautiful. So there's so much beauty here. This could re represent a Taurus or a Libra um, with the Queen of Pentacles, strong earth sign. So you could be dealing with the earth sign, but not necessarily. The Empress also represents abundance and stability. I'm dropping cards now. Abundance and stability, beauty, beauty all around you. So um, I'm really picturing that. Hang on, I gotta pick up this card to kill. All right, so I'm picturing beauty all around you in your environment. This is really being stressed here right now and also feeling secure and peaceful. All right, let's get one more surrender to passion. So you may be experiencing this with another person. It doesn't have to be another person though. Um, being passionate about what you love about your life. You know, not everything is always perfect, right? But there are certain things that I think um, you're learning to appreciate more in your life now and learning not to worry about certain things. Maybe there were some petty things going on in your surroundings and you're learning not to worry about that. Sorry about the jiggly table. I had a cat running around back there. And we have the Eight of Swords. Yes, so this represents self experience self-imposed restriction so what are you holding yourself back what are you afraid to see um, and here on this side with surrender to passion get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow so look at all the purple coming out too so focus on your third eye chakra and that will be your sixth chakra and your seventh your crown chakra and why are you blocking why are you blocking your intuition? Why are you blocking yourself from the things that you enjoy, okay? Um, are you overly focused on someone else or someone that you want attention from and um, they're, they're not available or not interested? If that's the case, that person is probably toxic. Whether or not it's, whether or not it's someone you're romantically interested in, it could be, you know, seeking approval from someone that um, may be unkind and you're trying to 
you're seeking healing of that awful feeling of how someone has made you feel, but you're seeking that healing from the very person that caused you pain. So why are you blocking yourself from your own passion in your own life and what you love to do and you know the people that you truly love whether it's romantically or not your animals um, your pets you know why are you blocking yourself and allowing your focus to be on someone who does not reciprocate or someone who might like feeling like they have power over you they know you want their attention and they're holding back I think someone's playing games with text messaging they're not responding to you and then a lot of time goes by and then they do respond to you because they know you're gonna be like hey how are you so glad to hear from you and you're gonna be feeding their ego by doing that they're playing manipulative games with you by letting all this time go by it's not very respectful and then they make a peep and say, hey, you know, how are you doing? And they act like nothing, nothing happened, like they didn't do anything wrong or rude. You in turn, you know, not meaning to feed their ego by being so excited to hear from them. And then the cycle keeps happening, right? So that's a red flag. We want to get back to all this beauty, abundance, the financial stability, the beauty of the natural world, your true passions and um, get to the root of why you've been allowing something negative or someone negative to distract you and absorb all of your attention because all the beauty is here. And here we have the three of wands. Okay, so when you do this, when you focus on the true beauty and what you really appreciate and love to do in life, your world is going to expand. Okay, leave the negative behind. Leave the people with mega issues behind. Leave the people with um, negativity and selfishness behind. Your world's going to open up. Don't give your power to them. Okay. Let's see what else for cancer. The Empress is being clarified by the Six of Cups. So there's a beautiful connection, a beautiful friendship. This could be someone you knew in the past. This could be reconnecting with someone from the past, but in a good way, not, not like someone you broke up with or divorced and are getting back together with, nothing like that. This could be just someone that you're reconnecting with. It could be a childhood friend that you lost touch with. Um, and you're getting back to the beauty of the beauty of the innocence of the friendship you once had. You're doing a lot of catching up, which is very beautiful. And one of you might be moving to live closer to this dear friend. I like that. Let's see what else we have for Cancer. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords. And we have the Nine of Cups, wishes and dreams coming true. Okay, so don't hold yourself back because when you choose to turn a blind eye to a, an uncomfortable, not uncomfortable, an um, unhealthy person or unhealthy influence in your life, you're blocking yourself from this abundance. Look how happy he is. Cups are full, again, like with the Queen of Pentacles, enough to share with others. You're saying, come one, come all, be happy like me. Don't block yourself from all of this abundance and joy, okay? Um, if this has to do with career, you might be blocking yourself from career success. Um, I'm getting some, again, the text messaging. Someone is distracted by someone else's game playing um, that includes text messaging. Um, you may have missed an important text from work or were late to an important work meeting because you were so distracted. I'm also getting um, someone might have had a class that they, um, a really important class that they really couldn't miss. Like there was a test or you had a presentation or something like that and this negative person has been distracting you. Prob probably um, they're up to something and that's what you're feeling. They're up to something, you know, uh, unsavory, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, but it's not not good for you. You have to decide, like, you don't want to be in that en energy. And you don't need proof. You don't need proof. This person is just not being nice. 
And I don't want to focus on that part of this reading so much because we have so much beauty, abundance, um, freedom. When you choose to take your focus away from the negativity and don't give that person power. And we have the King of Air. Here you are saying, I'm taking charge of my life. Knowledgeable, objective, and respected. Okay? You're commanding respect by doing this. Commanding self-respect. Okay, let's get one more from here. So um, this was the Gilded Tarot down here. And this is the Guardian Angel Messages Tarot. And look at this. Look at all these blessings. They're here for you. You're being blessed. Some of you aren't listening or paying attention to these blessings. Spirit is also trying to protect you. Emotions, relationships, intuition. Yeah, your intuition is right about this person or situation. Listen to it, okay? Don't block it. See how she is blocking her third eye because she's for some reason wanting to be in denial about this person or situation, right? So um, let's, let's not be in denial because that only hurts us and holds us back from our true path. Let's get a couple angel answers. As always, you can reflect on a question, but you don't have to. Take what resonates. What else for Cancer? Okay, we have trust. Trust yourself, trust your intuition. We have recovery. This is recovery of body, mind, spirit. When you let go of this um, almost obsessive thinking about this other person, why they're not paying attention to you, or you get overly excited when they finally do pay attention to you, when you unplug from that, you're going to recover spiritually and evolve spiritually. And we have don't stop yet. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep opening up to the healing. Don't stop enjoying what you enjoy in life for any reason. All right, Cancer, thank you for being here. Please hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you again soon.